Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Hmm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. There's something back here. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me.
Yeah, I feel like Demet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. Huh, guess we're not totally alone. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy. Manny Sherman. On January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Rod is gonna set in. Right, that's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it, it's decay. There's gotta be a way through. Old house, island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell.
your head down. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. this.
Oh, oh, oh. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help and he throws it back in my face. Because you're... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. A piece of shit. Shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment, and Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. <laughs> 